So last night I went to see Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, and oh my god. What a fantastic film. So Ghostbusters Afterlife follows the story of a single mum and her two kids. Um, her two kids played by Finn Wolfhard and McKenna Grace. Both incredible in the film. And the mum is played by Carrie Coon, who is also incredible in the film. Oh, my sounds. Oh, yes. Um, it, the, mo the movie does also star Paul Rudd, Bill Murray, um, and the list, the cast just goes on. You've also got the receptionist from the original movie comes back, um, and she is played by Annie Potts. And you also have a kid called Podcast, who is played by a great child actor called Logan Kim. And wow, he's funny in this film. I think the whole film is funny. Every character has great jokes, apart from McKenna Grace's character. It was done on purpose, but her jokes were terrible. It was done on purpose to fit the story. Um, like, I, I get why her jokes were terrible, but they were so bad. That I think I cringed quite a few times during the film. I'm not saying that my jokes are good, but I know when a joke is bad. Hence why I barely make jokes. Okay. But this film does follow the story of Carrie Coon playing the mother with her two kids, um, Finn Wolfhard and McKenna Grace. Um, and basically, they get evicted um, and they have to move to this place called Somerville and live in this creepy old farmhouse. This house that they moved to is their grandfather's house and yeah I'm sure you can guess what happens after that. Their grandfather is a ghostbuster. Yes now that's not a spoiler because you see it in the trailer and I think it's in the synopsis on Google I might be wrong. So yes. Now right off the bat I adore this film. I'm definitely going to be giving this film another watch in the cinemas in a couple of weeks time um, maybe over the weekend and um, I do have to mention this film does start off very slow it's there's a lot of not Eternals this is not like Eternals with the character development but in the beginning there's a lot of character development and then after that after about half an hour of that it kicks off and so much good stuff happens um and yeah it is absolutely brilliant so and i absolutely adore the scene with the ecto-1 where they're first in the ecto-1 um and yeah they're um going after a ghost that they see it's all a very very fun scene um and that scene oh my god the scene with the proton pack where the proton pack first turns on Wow. The sound was brilliant, but also the effects were brilliant. I adore that film. Now, I do want to mention that I am a massive fan of the original Ghostbusters. The second one is okay, and the 2016 one is... Yeah, so the 2016 film is not that great. Um, and I think a lot of people would agree with me, but I really enjoy the first one and I do think the second one's okay but this film I think is the Ghostbusters sequel um I think this film is the sequel that I think all the fans needed and I think what the first film deserved is this incredible sequel and it's you know been a long time coming everyone's been waiting for this film and I don't think many people were disappointed even though the reviews aren't great it's got a 96 90, 60, 96% score on Rotten Tomatoes. So, yeah, um, it's a very, very good film. Uh, as I said, the pacing at the beginning is off. After that, you get taken on a wild ride and you will just enjoy yourself so much. And there are so many little references to the first film, things that you'll only get if you have seen the first film. Um, and there's this one scene in Walmart, which is bloody great not going to go into spoilers there i think there is a bit of it in the trailer um 
but yeah there's a great scene where Paul Rod is in Walmart there's so many great scenes in this film and there's so many great moments of comedy and so many great moments of action um, so the only issue I have with this film is its pacing I think everyone's great um, at acting in this film there's not a single bad actor and there's not a single person that isn't great at doing the comedy the comedy isn't forced I laughed at Pretty much every joke apart from my Kenna Grace's jokes, which we don't need to discuss because I have spoke about that. Have a great ending. I like the way they wrapped it up. Um, however, I don't know, they didn't fully wrap it up. They left They left the film open for another movie. Um, there are end credits scenes, which you should definitely stay for. There's two great end credit scenes. They wrapped up. They wrapped it up, but then decided to go, no, let's hint at another film. Which I like what they did, um, but it had a great ending and, you know, it was quite emotional. I didn't cry, but if you are a fan of the original film, then you might you might get a bit emotional. I'm not going to tell you anything else. I'm not going to say any more about the ending, because that will just be a spoiler. Um... But, yes, now I have, what have I got coming up? I was meant to have some Gucci today, but I think I'll be seeing that tomorrow instead. Um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.